quick little update on this. Uh... All right, as you can see, Hawkins with Chicken Rock Farmstead, and I'm back here with my little update of using this. Was it 10 by 17 Harbor Freight or Harbor Freight style? I think I got this one actually at Royal King. Uh, little portable garage, and in here you can see I got the tractor. That's doing good. I have pulled it forward to get make myself more room, but you know the wind the wind rain comes from the back side of this is where I put it, which makes sense. And uh, <clears throat> so it hadn't had any issues. We got our rabbits in here. That guy's napping. And this rabbit, you can see that's doing pretty good. I still need to put a tarp behind that because I'm getting a lot of uh, poo down there, which I don't like. And then we got our quail, and they seem to be doing pretty good. Got the watering system that's working uh yeah they're all eating they're laying eggs again when i first moved them they were having some issues but everybody's good now so i said i'm <clears throat> happy with that now it is pretty warm in here though as uh so i said in my previous video that's why i elected to keep the whole front end off of this thing because today's maybe in the 80 maybe 80 78 something like that <clears throat> but just standing there in here there is quite a bit of humidity i guess and heat so something to keep in mind might end up moving a fan in here like a solar fan so that way you know it comes on during the day it's gonna blow some of the heat out and just get some air moving but we'll see about that in the future all right now i was having a lot of issues with this back wall blowing around i put that tarp up there trying to help with that plus to keep the poo off the, the original tarp uh still it was blowing around so much it kept that thing's just dry fit together it was uh breaking that making them run out of water and it was just blowing the cages around so much that the quail were getting like really agitated they weren't they weren't happy uh you can see there's a little bit of movement there the, the walls are still moving pretty good though and uh let me show you what i did to to kind of slow that down some all right we're out around back and there we go had some extra of these uh metal panels and i've seen a video or two where you know people put these uh have taken you know like the frame and actually put the metal on it all well same concept but i just left the tarp on there because i just figured that would actually seal it up because that was one thing they'd have to go back and seal it so if you got one of these new and you want to just go ahead and do that uh the only problem with drilling or uh, screwing it to there is for starters it takes a lot i would definitely suggest pre-drilling it having two people because uh the way you want these kind of overlapping you know, it just trying to hold that up there was was horrible because <laughs> I did it by myself. And then, like I said, these the self drilling uh, screws there to get through those metal posts to get through the actual metal or whatever. Yeah, it took a lot. So if you had like a metal drill bit to pre drill, uh, that probably would work a lot better. But once I put this on, this whole thing became so much more stable. I mean, it just, it like really just locks the whole thing together. And it's only this one side. And uh, granted, this is the one side that the wind comes from. The cage is right there. So that stuff's not whipping around because it completely prevents that. Uh, I am kind of worried. You can probably maybe see some of it right now. Is this going to cut into that over time? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but, you know. Another sheet, I could have it all the way to the top. If that was something that was gonna happen, you know, and finish it out, trim the sides up. Like I said, I, this was scrap I had laying around. Well, scrap, I call it scrap, but you can see the bottom there is all dinged up and stuff. I got it at like an auction. So for, I don't know, $5 a sheet or something. Got a bunch of it. But anyways, <clears throat> you know, but this could easily be done to the walls, all that stuff. If you look around for an actual metal roofing place or a metal siding place and not go to Lowe's, uh, yeah, I found one <laughs> a lot closer to my house than Lowe's was. Uh, it was actually half the price of like a 12-foot sheet, and they custom do it to whatever size you want. So on this side, if I wanted panels that were just big enough to go from here to here, and then, you know, they would overlap or whatever, and that would be a lot easier to work with and hold, you know, keeping them a little bit shorter. You can do that. You know, you can get them whatever size you want. And I think it's priced by the foot, basically. And it, just regular galvanized, non-painted is definitely the cheapest. So, but anyways, <clears throat> wanted to show that. Uh, since that's been there, you know, I've had a lot 
less issues because like I said that back wall is not flapping the quail are happy now they're not getting knocked around the water system's not getting knocked out the rabbits seem pretty happy uh, but I probably will come back and uh, find some kind of solar fan to hold up and just run run the line out the back or whatever and clamp the solar panel to it or let it dangle or something and just get some airflow in here I think would be nice for them so that's it like share and subscribe and check back for updates on how this bad boy is doing